What's up, world? Most of y'all know me as Mario McCoy. Some of you know me as Pacino. Both names are applicable. Uh, wanted to connect with y'all and discuss the topic that's been on the brain lately. I had a discussion with one of my home team um, down here in Texas talking about mental growth and somebody who's now in my early 30s, something that I can attest to. Um, I just said I recently moved to Texas. Well, I've been in Texas about a year now. Um, for those of you who may or may not know, home team all day, MKE. Um, that's petty, right? But um, when we're talking about mental growth, I'm from a place where I'm from the north side, 52nd and Hampton Block. It's 52nd and Hampton, Milwaukee, Wisconsin. Um, that's an area where it's not the worst, but it's definitely not the greatest. Uh, some of my good friends are still in the streets. Some of my good friends are um, looking for a way out. And there's people that I know that are watching that are looking for a way out. Um, being from Milwaukee, most of the city is hood. 49% uh, of all African American men under the age of 30 already have a criminal record. So it's looked at whereas if you leave, you quote unquote made it. Um, bit about my story for those of you who may or may not know. I dropped out of college, uh, took three and a half years off, went back to college, completely struggled academically. Um, missed his undergrad and ended up graduating with a decent GPA. Uh, took a semester off, went back for my master's, and then graduated summa cum laude with my master's in 2013. I say this because I also do music. Um, as I've stated, for those who may not know, my rap name is Pacino. I have an album called Chasing History that's out on iTunes and Google Play. Um, I've done music. I release music um, locally about a decade. Um, also a member of Alpha Phi Alpha Fraternity Incorporated. Uh, to run down, a, I mean, a few of the surface facts. Um, these things have all chronologically played towards my own mental growth and Leaving home was one of the most hardest things that I've ever had to do um, it's for an uh, educational opportunity and because I really got tired of the crib. I really got tired of all the bullshit that goes on in the crib. Um, I found out a couple of days ago, it's 84 homicides in Milwaukee, which is per capita more than Chicago right now. And we're in July 2015. And... I had discussions with people, and I see discussions to talk about what can we do, what will we do, uh, all these protests and things like that. And I aim to keep mum about it because everybody tends to have a certain opinion about whatever should go on socially, and everybody thinks that they're correct, but nobody's doing anything about it. So I just came to be like, well, that's the, you know, the pot calling the kettle black, I guess. But I really pray for my city. I really pray for mental growth. There's a lot of people in my city who aim to be like, I want to move, I want to leave, I want to do this. It takes a lot of struggle. And I move by myself. I move with next to nothing. I own property back home. I move with next to nothing in my name. With what fit in my car, I did that and rolled out. And I will say almost a year later, it's one of the best things I've ever done. I had a conversation with one of my home team um, and back at the crib. And I was actually having second thoughts about rolling out. And he was like, it's for the world. Please see the world. And he couldn't have been even more right. I recommend that for any and everybody who's in this predicament, who wants to leave, who, wherever you're from. You can, you can be from the Midwest, from the South, West Coast, East Coast, wherever. You know, if you want to explore the world, see the world. It's definitely for your mental growth. It's definitely something that can never be taken away from you with something that you can say well I did it it's on my bucket list I checked it off um, I've met a lot of great people um, just a different atmosphere um, different surroundings being able to get up and do something different every day go to a different place um, those are things that you can't you know mentally every race and you're forced to adapt to different surroundings you do you're forced to adapt to different, you know, diverse environments and different people who you may or may not see where you're from. And this is something that I definitely went through and definitely still go through, you know, being out here in Texas. Um, musically, 
I will say that I'm slowly becoming a bit more inspired to do more music. Um, with mental growth comes change. And I always thought, um, when I turned 30, when I turned 35, I'm not 35 yet, don't do that. But um, I always thought, when I got to that age bracket, I'm like, I'm through a rapping. And I still kind of play around with that. But it's something that's a passion of mine. It's something that I see so many young homies aim to do it, to get out the hood, or aim to be noticed, and aim to be, you know, use it to catch women and all of that. You know, it's a passion. It's an art. And when it comes to growing, you, you, you kind of set things on a priority scale and see what is going to work for you. And a lot of y'all, boy, I'm going to keep my mouth closed on that. But um, as far as the mental growth, like I said, it's something that can never be taken away from you. I definitely encourage it. Um, I have a few friends. I always see it on my Facebook timeline. I'm getting ready to leave. I want to leave. I can't wait. I got a year. I got two years. If God gives you the opportunity to roll out, take it because he will not leave you forsaken in any area of your life. Um, the struggle makes you appreciate the success even more. Um, I hope that I can be a vessel to relay this message to somebody that's out there. I'll be aiming to update my YouTube channel a bit more just as far as my own stance on certain things of life or whatever this comes to bring the time that I feel as though can relate to the public. But for now, just a kid signing off. At Chino Chino, y'all and everything, by the way. All right, peace.